Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've got a huge box just came in from um, Gulf View Goodwill. I think it's like North Florida somewhere. Sorry, we're outside again because my studio is piles of shoes and I've been working really hard. I've got a bunch of shoes photographed and as soon as I get like fill up my 50, then I can go take a break and get those all listed and then go and start again. So this box is is from the Goodwill Blue Boxes. Um, they refill them every or restock them every Friday night at 6 p.m. Eastern. So they'll be restocking today. I was able to get last and they sell out like really fast. So I don't know how I got as many as I did. I got um, two are uh, okay so two of them are um women's 50 piece or no women's um apparel 10 to 12 pieces each so we should have um 20 to 24 pieces of women's clothing and then the other one is um like 50 pieces of y2k um streetwear so I'm not real sure what that is. So, streetwear must be men's. We've got a pair of Nike shorts that are yeah, these are not in very good shape at all. These are large. I don't know what this maybe l23 or something is the thing but it is nike but it, then it's got this word logo and that's down here so i don't know what this is but it obviously is not sellable because it snags everywhere and it's dirty let's see if my son wants it otherwise i want to donate something that rough okay Not on a very good start here. So this is Charlotte Christian, which is probably a high school, and it has stains all over it. And the cropping of it makes me think this is probably a football practice jersey. All right, that I can probably make dog toys out of. Cause like if you have um, old T-shirts and pants and stuff like that, that's like a not a synthetic um fiber like the shorts that you know like t-shirts and stuff you can um cut them in strips and then braid them and tie them in knots and stuff and make little dog pull toys and stuff so i've done that my dog doesn't really play with toys all he's worried about is food and lizards so i end up giving them to my friends so this is better heart b you know it's a size medium like in a little flash dance. Oh, I should be counting too. So this is a lady. So this is, should be one of our 20 to 24. Very flash dance going on here. Like that. So there's one ladies and we have two Y2K street wear, I guess, because the guy stuff. This one's not stained, but it says way, way cool dad, way cool dad. It's from world's greatest dad. So I guess it's an appropriate time if anybody, I don't know it, actually if, I have to check and see like, isn't Father's Day this weekend or next weekend? So. It's probably too big for my dad, but I'll just give it to him probably. He can wear it like for hiding from my mom. Okay. So this is Big Ben Wallace. Um, it looks like, is that star there? That little star there kind of looks like starter. It's an extra large. Let me see if there's anything on here. Um, the 
printing's a little cracked. And there's a hole under the sleeve. There's like a big hole under the sleeve. Well, I guess this will be a sleep shirt for me. Sleep shirt for me. Okay, so so far of our 50 Y2K, we're not doing very well. Um, so so far, nothing I can really sell. I mean, I could sell this, but I think it'd be too late for Father's Day, but somebody might still want it. So this is Polo Ralph Lauren. So this is the lower end brand of Ralph Lauren. And this just feels a little, the collar feels a little pulled out. Like when you're putting hangers in, if you put them in through the neck, that tears them up. Put them in from the bottom. But Polo. Maybe I'll make like a bundle of some stuff that's not too horrible. So I'll put the wood. Um, I don't know. Let's we'll see on the wood pull that. So that's one, two, three, four, five of the 50 so far. One might be. But this makes me happy. Because I love my Marvel comic graphic tees. And this is in really good shape. And it is an official licensed Batman. So these are very good. I do have a lot of graphic tees um, that do pretty good. So happy with that. All right. Loving this. Avengers. Great graphic. And then it is an official license. Yes. So that's good. And it's a size large. So that's good too. So yay. Okay. So that's two good ones. That got me happy now. Oh. And we got another graphic. Iron Man. Iron Man's a good one. And this is like from the, the comic book. Front. Still only 35 cents. What is this saying? Zug. Zung. Okay. Iron Man Zung. Okay, so that's cool. Like the red, like the print. That can do pretty good. I like my graphic tees. They do pretty good. Um, let's see who's this. So now we're at one, two, three, four. I'll count again at the end. Okay, um Corvette Racing. Looks new. Yeah, there's no wear on this, so this is pretty good. I'm not sure how collectible or whatever Corvette racing gear is. Okay, this is nice. Oh, this feels really soft. It's 100% cotton nautica, and it's a size medium. It's pretty big medium men's. Well, men's medium. Nautica, what's it say? NS83. Uh, really good shape. I'm not seeing any stains or tears. And I'm not seeing any piling either. So that's a good one. Like it. Looks very good. Looks new. Okay, let's see who it is. Okay, so this looks like a, a movie premiere shirt. It's probably like a promo or something. The Man from Uncle in theaters, um, 8, 14, 15. So, these I'll have to see, you know, like if anybody's collecting those. Um, maybe memorabilia sometimes, it just depends on the movie, and I'm not really sure how big that was. Okay, this one is pretty much a sweatshirt. So, this is American Apparel. Standard American, but it's Google. So, apps for your business, Google. So, this is probably a trade show giveaway. And now it is a sleep shirt. Charlotte Christian Knights. It's got stains. So, this is another probably, I'm guessing that 
that's the same as this one. So all of this Y2K stuff must be from the same guy. So, um, I'm gonna put that there for now. I may add that to like a bundle or something. Um, so this is right. Charlotte Bob Cats Appreciation Night 2006. So again, it's like, is it a collectible or not? If anybody's looking for them. But this thing is, yeah, this isn't even good for that because it's got stains and it's really yellowed. So, sleep sharp. Okay. Okay, so I'm not sure if this was supposed to be part of the Y2K. Um, but we got Burberry Brit, and it is an extra large. Excellent condition. I'm not seeing any tiling. There's like maybe one little. Yeah. No snags. Oh, wait, maybe. Oh, that's good. It's just some um, lint. A piece of lint there, too. Okay. So, this is good. This one, this could make up for a lot of the the other stuff in there, but I don't know if this is counted as part of the women's or the men's because I don't really find Burberry to be streetwear. Maybe they thought it was women's. Okay. Looks like we got another giveaway. Corvette Racing. And it's got a Mobile One and Sirius sponsorship so it's probably a giveaway um it's port and company core cotton and it's actually a ladies oh okay i thought that was a stain it's actually a car you can actually see it's like a really light on this watermark print of the car it's cool now this is ladies but it's a t-shirt so is it part of the ladies or is it part of the y2k Confused. Okay, I'm going to put that with my bundle stuff. Okay. This is looking nice. So this is Maserati Course. And it is new a tag. And the retail, well, it's got like a couple stickers. Yeah. So it's it was $89.99 when they got it. There's like a couple stickers underneath that. I'm trying to see if it went up or down. Without messing it up. Just a little peek. I can't tell. But still, I mean, it's a $90 polo shirt. Even if that was $90 on sale. It's not real good. And it's um, Italian. Um, so this is Maserati Italian Racing. So these are, um, mm. <sighs> forgot the word. Like the Street Racing 33 Trophia. That's probably the driver's name. This is nice. Really big, nice Maserati Sport for Maserati Course on the back. Like that. So that and my Burberry are helping keep me from going broke on this. Okay, so this is a Marine Corps basic training tee. Because I had one of these and my son had one of these. Basically, when you go through basic training, your platoon. So this was fourth Charlie Company fourth platoon. Um, doesn't have the OCC 201. So that's probably their class number. Um, it's an Anvil T-shirt, but yeah. So basically, and then it's got the 
the commanders names and stuff I know my sons they had the names of all the the people from his platoon on it okay um I'm gonna put that in the bundle because some someone might not be bad at it because it's in good shape it's just okay Charlotte I don't know if this is the Christian thing or not. Does it say on here? It's Champs Sport. Champs Sports. Officially made, officially licensed by Team Edition Apparel. So it's officially licensed. So it should be okay. So I'm going to put it with my my good t-shirts. Not great. We got, ooh, 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 ooh. This could be good. This could be very good. It's a little dirty, but this could be good. Alright, alright. So we've got a big NBA officially. Is it officially licensed? Yes. NBA elevation. 80% cotton. 20% polyester. I don't know why it doesn't say officially licensed or maybe that NBA thing is the official license. Usually things have like an official licensing on them. Um, can't find the ingredients tag. Oh wait, I just did. It's on there. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. It's a size medium, but it's a pretty big medium. Probably, you know, basically men's medium. So, it's okay. That should help pay for some of this. Okay, this is looking cool. This is very cool. I like this. So, we've got another, another Marvel. And this is like the really lightweight, soft t-shirts. And this is a um, 2XL. Oh, this is so cool. So it's got the gold marble on it. And then you've got the line drawing. And this is like so soft. This is made out of it's polyester and rain on it. It's so soft. And it's like really fine. So it'll it'll be cool. So this is really cool. So very happy with that one. That one should do well. Okay, we got a Disney, and it's a very Merry Christmas party, which means it's an in park shirt. It is um, missing the tag, but the very Merry Christmas party is an in park um, private event that you have to like. Um, you actually have to pay extra to stay for it so like if you paid to go into the park one day and it was during the very merry christmas party you only get like half a day because then they shut the park down early so then the christmas party stuff can start um and i think like i think if you pay 20 or 30 dollars maybe it may be a little more than that um oh and it's 2001 it does say magic kingdom 2001 so this is really good, especially when it's an in-park shirt for collectors of Disney things. It's got a date, which is great, and it's actually one year from being vintage, so that's great. I don't understand this. It looks like it's a comic book. But like backwards. So it's a ten dollar book. It's still in plastic. I'm going to open it but put it right back. So yeah, so it's a graphic novel. Um anime graphic novel. I'll have to see. I'm not sure why it's in a closed box. Let's see if it's considered part of my 50 items or not when we count so that's a little weird my dog needs attention what do you want to okay so it looks like we got our second piece of women's wear 
Kenneth Ann Taylor. I do like Ann Taylor. I don't know why not a lot of people do. Okay, it's size 6. And it's, um, like, capris. I like this. This is really cute print. So, Ann Taylor capris, size 6. These look to be in very good condition. So, those should be okay. So, that looks like it's number 2 of our women's stuff. Another item. This is Boohoo. And it is the metallic silver. And it doesn't have a price on it. It is a US size 10. Please do not remove unless you're satisfied with this garment. Returns will not be accepted as tags been removed. So I wonder where they, this was sold at. Because I guess with that tag, you can return it. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll look it up. It's actually a pretty shirt. Feeling 70s glitterific. I'm going to assume this is women's since it's a size 10, so this is probably number three of our 20 to 24 women's outfits. I know we didn't go through 50 men's items. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23. Okay, so we're 23, so we're almost halfway with the men's. So there should be some more. I see one down here in my receipt. Okay, so yeah, so it's um, $60 for the 30, oh, it's a 30 piece. I thought it was 50 piece. Yeah, that makes it a little harder then, because I was thinking that I got these for like a dollar each. And there's a lot of duds. So, so I said we, we have like 20 something, yeah, so we're almost empty of those. And then I have a small and a medium on the women's basic apparel. And those are $24.99. Sutton Bay Golf Club. It does have its tag. Blu-ray Sportswear. Um, does it have the price on it? It's rust. It's the Epic Washed Twill Cap. Design is Payoff Customer Template. Wow. I guess that's just saying that it's um, it's been oh, and it's got the little keeper in there too. So See if anybody wants Sutton Bay Golf Club hats. No, I'm not feeling good about the men's box. Hopefully that Burberry and the Maserati make up for it. Um, this one should be okay. It's a official license, Major League Baseball. It is a little distressed. Cubs with the little cub on the seat. So that's cute shape. It is a size large. Um, the distressing and, uh, uh, there's a couple little spots here so that might have to go and add the bundle. The bundle. Okay. This is definitely one of our ladies wear I would hope. Okay. Uh, Jessica Simpson. Okay, so Jessica Simpson is it just it's a dress, I think, and not a romper. I would have been more excited if it was a romper. But it's cute. Purple and black romp uh, dress with a boat neck. And it is a size medium. 
So on the women's apparel, I should just have medium and small. So it's okay. I'm not like sure how well Jessica Simpson does. Oh, and now we have UPS showing up. Hey. Okay, this is another one that's not great, but it's not horrible. So that's Sonoma. And it's a size medium. And it says, something beautiful is on the horizon. So that's really cute. All three quarter sleeves. This looks really good shape. So that should do good. And that's a cotton polyester blend. Almost there, guys. I'm not too thrilled yet. Um, a spray, so again, not something that's really big. A spray. Okay, thank you. You too. So, a spray. It's got little blings on it. That's kind of cute. It's kind of like the Ringer baseball jersey with the split neck. And this is a medium and cotton polyester blend. So, okay, so that's six of our women. We're still missing a couple of the men's. They're the Y2K, which I'm assuming is men's pretty much. So, this is Champion Athletic Wear, size large. University of North Carolina, Charlotte. The 49ers. Okay, so that's what that little thing was for. Okay, I have uh, some people from Charlotte UNC are going to want some shirts. Because we got some shirts. We got some long sleeve shirts. I know college wear does do good. I'm just not sure. Um, on... UNC, um, Charlotte, maybe if it was main campus, that might be better, I'm not real sure, okay, we got a new tag, Heritage 1981, cute, and this is probably from the small, oh, this is a medium, so this is, uh, $20, new, it's a woven top with spaghetti straps, navy, turquoise, and purple. Uh, just a cute little cam cam camisole kind of halter. Very cute. Nice and sheer. It's probably a boutique brand, Heritage 1981. So look that up. Um, the comps because it's 20 bucks and a lot in retail. Um, Tommy Hilfiger, size 15, 100% cotton, dress shirt, short sleeve dress shirt, which is good. Now we've got something that we can cut out for spring, summer. And it's got the little kind of like golf style logo of Tommy Hilfiger. You've got the Lion on Rampart, Lion like thing. So that's actually. And it's got the crown on it, so. In some, like in England, you usually can only do a crown, um, like this with the, um, the shield if, um, a member of the royal family, like, buys from you. So. And then it's, like, different crowns for different people on there. Okay, so we got another military shirt, which I'm okay, except for I'm in the army, and I got navy, but I'm in a navy town now, so not that that matters on Poshmark, so nice big size United States Navy t-shirt, this thing is huge, I will, uh, the tag's cut out, so sleep shirt. America, not that. So you have your tag at least. Yeah, it has its tag. 
So this is Delta Pro Weight and it is 100% pre-shrunk cotton. So that's good. And we've got a nice America with the Eagle. So that's good. I should be able to get something for that. Hmm. Okay, so this is Paxson, which I have heard of. I just don't remember what I heard of them. It's a boxy fit, Paxson, Los Angeles. It's a size large. Um, I'm going to edit this just because um, I'm not sure like what happens if you have bad words, but it's like blank the usual. And it's a nice long sleeve shirt. And that's cool. It's got the raw, raw hem sleeves, long sleeves. This might be considered one of the women's. No, it's a large, so this must be the men's. But yeah, so bleep of the usual. That should do well. I'm just not sure if I'm allowed to post it on Poshmark or not. So that kind of sucks. When you and we have another Carolina. This one's North Carolina State. And it's Chance Official License. So this one might do a little better than the um, Charlotte. So I'm not sure where we're at now. We've got more men's. So um, Adidas Clinolite. Nice. Polo slash off shirt. It's like got cross golf clubs, so it's obviously that, but I don't know what the ND is for. And it's got the Adidas embroidery on the sleeve, so I'll have to look up what this logo is for and see if it affects the price or not. It's a really nice shirt. Very. The sleeves have a little bit of wear. I, the, I like the little, it's literally embroidered, it feels like, along the stripes, so it's got texture. So, we'll have to see what happens with that. Got a little animal print coming out. Kenneth 2, this is a size medium. Get rid of that three-quarter sleeve. Nice little animal print, v-neck, and it's a little warm for it now, but that's, I mean, that's cute. It's not horrible, it's not great, so we'll see what happens. Okay, oh, this is really soft. Majestic Fan Fashion. And this is, oh, Patriots, oh man, down here in the Keys, it is a huge Patriots place to be. Oh, and it looks like this is, this is actually sewn on to stay loose and open like that. So this is definitely a women's, and you got the Patriots on the sleeve. These are really soft, really soft and light. on this or majestic it's made with where's the oh 100 percent cotton cool so it is definitely really strong oh and it's still got a the little tag thing sticking out of it so yeah so had part of the barb in it so because it's still got like the the cell fold kind of thing going on so I'm guessing this is new without tag because we found the actual barb for the tag right there and, this look, and the armpit okay so this one should be good I'm going to put that with those 
I guess I'm buying stuff till I get things done. Okay, LL Bean. I like LL Bean. I think LL Bean's a good brand. A lot of people don't like it because it's a catalog brand, whatever, wrinkle free. So, <laughs> freaking birds. So, this is a medium. I don't like it. It looks like this. It definitely looks new. But it also looks like it comes in at the at the waist a little. So that's nice. I like when you have that tailoring so that it comes in. So that's really pretty. I like the little dots. I like different size dots. And I swear that's not an owl. So I don't know what it is. Okay, fifth, fifth heart sun, and this is all the, all the jing, all the jingle, all the ladies jingle. So Christmas shirt, fifth sun, medium. So be something to stay in the closet till Christmas time. All right, this is. Looking nice. Du Pedu. Du Pedu. Which is a size 6. It is 100% silk. It's a really beautiful color, too. It's a nice sheath dress. And there's one little spot right here, but that can probably come out pretty easily. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. And it, it looks vintage from that tag and then you've got like the button in the back so I'll have to look that up but that it's, it's lined which is great it's a size 6 which I guess they're making that into the small but, uh, okay so this is a really good one I think I hope so that might help here for the women's side of the box Okay, we've got another loft, size six. I do like Ann Taylor loft. I get, I got, I was getting it a lot because I like it, and then I realized that like doesn't do that great. It's also black, which kills me because you can't like get, so you can't even see. It's got like this cool texture thing in the front. Oh, and it's got little buttons. It does have some peeling. So, I like the little double button on the front thing. So, it's a project to get it up to standards. These are soft. But they're probably old navy. Yep, loft. Okay, so we got loft. Size 6 again. So, these are really soft. They're nice little kind of pink chino got zipper front pockets that's cool flat front make sure that the zippers work they do and that zipper works and then you've got the button and the hooks so these are nice I like these these should do well I love the color like a really rich pink Excuse me. Everything is in bloom right now. Okay. Um, so Chico. Chico's design. I don't know if that's a lower end of Chico's or not. This is a size zero. And it's rayon and nylon. It's kind of an interesting sheer effect. Like that. Looks like little whirlpools. So. there and you've got a little flap in the back as well so I like that almost to the bottom then we're gonna have to count because I don't know if we got everything I should have gotten 
Okay, so XXI, so that'd be 21, so it's probably forever 21. And it is a small petite. And it is a very small petite. And that's just a little party dress. Or not petite, small. It's the P is for petite if you're Spanish or French or whatever. Okay. It's cute. I don't think it's going to do anything spectacular. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, that's kind of cute. It doesn't have any tags. But this is cute. It's like a little, um, dress with a hogfish on the front. See, I know what that is because I love the keys. It's kind of an interesting color of hogfish in front of, in front of the fan coral. Um, and it's got kind of like the tube top thing on top here. I don't see any tags. The, under, the other side of the printing has glitter on it. Oh, it does. It has it has metallic glitter on there. So, okay, I don't know if I figured that out. But there is no other tags anywhere, so I'll have to look up hogfish, <laughs> shiny hogfish dress. See if we can figure out who made it. If not, I guess it's mine. Or I can throw it into a bundle. It's kind of cute. Hogfish. Okay, guys. Got it. I mean, there's like two, maybe three things that are like super good. Um, the Marvel shirts are going to do okay. So I think I should get my money back. But let's see. So this is lipstick. And it's a little body con dress, pink and black. So that's cute. And my guess is that it's a small, because it's pretty small. Um, there's a little snag on the back. So I'm not thinking this is going to do much either. Hopefully it'll pay for itself. Because these basically they break down to like two twenty-five each, so to recoup my cost and actually pay myself. I know people that buy don't want us to get paid too, but that's what it is. All right, this is nice. Oh, it's Express, Express, small brand, but it's cute. Another little body con, kind of the bandage dress body con, and then it's got a little sweetheart neckline, and then the mesh. So that's looking pretty new. It's like holding the sail creases. Okay. I was excited for a second. I thought it said Steve McQueen. It's a Jack McQueen. No idea. Jack McQueen Sport. It's a medium. Probably new with tag without tags because we got another barb. Um, but it's just an incredibly basic black dress. Yeah. I'm not sure what's sporty about it. So I'll have to look that up and see. Looks like a nightgown. So I still hopefully I'll make my money back. And then we have a 30 Gatorade shirt. Looks like it has paint on it. A 
It's a Povey one size fits all 100% cotton. But it's a throwaway shirt that's starting. Okay, so that's one. I'm going to put the crap stuff on the bottom first. Okay, one, 